Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Mr. Green Hands. I am here at the allotment. It's not the greatest day in this world right now, but it's February. We haven't had a freeze that's going to deter us from growing, but these are a few things that I want to give you that you can grow or you can start off undercover, hence the word undercover, within the month of February. Let's take a look at what Mr. Green Hands is going to be definitely getting in his little cold frame if you don't know what a cold frame is 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 an item that you is similar to a greenhouse but a very small version that you can put some plants that are good right now in february to so just a few let me show you up first is the wonderful leek gotta love them they're beautiful they are in the onion family they're beautiful but they have their own distinctive flavor and taste and to me they're actually very, very, very good to add to your soups and your delicious meals if you are making a stir fry. They are just beautiful. I have found them that they take a longer time to really produce something because it takes a long time. This packet is from Wilco and it does state that it's all the way done in October. Even if you've sold them indoors from January, February or even March, the harvest period is literally all the way down in October, November and your lovely cold weather time December. So these are one to have right now growing in your area wherever you have if you are doing it in a cold frame or you doing it inside in, with grow lights or in a warm environment in your garden. It's perfect for outside and I just I gotta get some. I had a few some a few, maybe about five six years ago. They've died now. They've expired but let me add this to my garden because I'm trying to grow as much every little nook and cranny area that I have this allotment I'm going to have something. I'm not going to keep one thing growing. I'm going to flow with the companionship of gardening. And that's where the beauty of gardening is. It's not just about planting one thing and let it go with. It's about companionship. The next one on the list is a good old sturdy onions. I'm going to be growing these ones. They are organic variety. And I'm definitely, I've never ever in all the years of gardening actually sold my own onions other than my lesbian bunching onions which I love to death they're amazing and I they are so hardy they're right now doing really well right now they're coming back up and it's showing some love so I'm going to try to get some onions done and I'm going to definitely plot some onion sets as well you never know you can never have enough onions because it's just beautiful in the food that we eat and the health we're trying to get to onions fantastic the next one I'm going to definitely be planting or sowing in the lovely month of February is some Brussels sprouts. I love my Brussels sprouts. Some people hate them. I don't really worry about what you hate. I'm just going to be planting what I love. I love my brassicas in every form, whether it's from east, north, west or south of the world. Vegetables are my key. I'm definitely going to be having some Brussels sprouts in my growing season this year i think i only have one a purple variety over there that's not doing too well at the moment but i literally sowed some last year and only one turn up and i'm trying to beat that for 2024 i'm getting in uh, in this dirt more food so every year i don't have to worry about nothing the shops can see me when i'm when i can't afford to buy the seeds you get what i'm trying to say the next one i'm going to be adding to the in this sowing period in february is your amazing beetroot I'm gonna add those right now into the garden or in the sowing period right now so I can get them ready. I wanna have an earlier crop than last year, but I'm, while I am actually doing this, guys, this is the best thing I really learned last year is to make sure you have a few suckers sowed after you've planted these ones in that spring. And so you can have multitudes of harvesting throughout the year. Keep that bed and garden going. Feed it with love and joy and beautiful fertilizer, natural fertilizer that is. We're trying to keep the chemicals out of here, guys. It's all about growing health. We're not just growing food, we're growing health. Because food is key to the body that God gave us. The next one, this is a risky, hence why I'm gonna take a chance. I might leave it till the end of February so I can get it grown. And I tell you, I am actually, happy right now i have one surviving sprouting broccoli 
and it's right next to me. I will do, I'm gonna do a short on that. You guys are gonna get to see this beautiful sprouting broccoli. It's my, ah, oh, I'm happy for this. This is the first time I did it and it's survived all the frost, the cold, and it's literally giving me fruit in February. Come on guys, I need to plant some more. I'm gonna take a chance on this. I will make, obviously I will wait. It does require about March. So if I leave it to end of February because of the weather we're having right now, I'm sure to have something at the end of the day. And this one is, I've had few of them. They didn't do so well for me last year, but I'm going back in and it is the good old granddaddy, grandfather of all beans, the broad beans. Beautiful thing, it's perfect to, to be sown right now. And some people that have actually sold them earlier in January, they are planting them out into their allotments, their garden, wherever they are. And they will do fantastic because beans, you know, they are a soil fixer. So they are amazing to have. And I'm this year, I'm gonna have them dotted because I'm, 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 I'm up for the companion planting, guys. I'm gonna be growing things in abundance with knowing and researching what grows well with one another. We're all here to build love and trust. And I have one, another beetroot. I'm gonna actually drop some more beetroot. This is just another one I'm gonna show you guys a beetroot. And I have, that was a sp sprouting broccoli. This is just a early, early purple sprouting broccoli. Now, I'm going with the purple color right now. I'm gonna have, so this one, this is a summer purple. So I'm gonna have my early purple and then my summer purple coming in right behind it. This is gonna be sown at the end of February. So these are what I'm gonna be sowing right now. So let's have a recap. You have your summer purple, your chives, early purple variety here. This is the early purple sprouting broccoli. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, my nose is running guys, excuse me. I'm gonna put some beautiful, this actually is a interpacked, so it's gonna be clustered Brussels sprouts. My beetroot, come on, gotta have those in. Obviously, onion in the bunions, onions, definitely. And if I haven't said it already, and I'm gonna say it again, broad beans. And this is me, this is your boy, Mr. Green Hands. And this is literally what I'm gonna be planting, or should I say sowing, in the month. I'm gonna give February. a honorable shout out to this beautiful pea, we, he, the snap peas. You can sow them as well. That's just a quick honorable shout out to the Mr. P, sweet snappy D. Hey, hey, we. Okay, this is just, you know, I'm doing cadence of rap, excuse my language. But anyway, let's go back to what I'm saying. This is your boy, Mr. Green Hands, and those are the ones that I'm gonna be sowing in the month of February, definitely undercover, but please, if you do have a beautiful open space in your home, have them sewn out your windowsill or in a heated area where you can get going, because this year, 2024, your boy is looking to get everything in and growing, even more than before. This is your boy, Mr. Gregor again, on a Sunday, Funday, Monday. And please, everybody, don't forget to look after the planet.